Hey, what's up guys? Mark from Spots Music Center here. It is right around nine o'clock and I am just getting to the store. Gonna open her up. Uh, well, we open at 10 every day, but I'm gonna open this door. Try not to set the alarm so the police don't come and see me. Should probably not show you the password. There we go, you can see me again. It's been a while since we put out a YouTube video. There's no better time than the now. So, uh, I'm gonna show you some guitar pedals today. It's gonna be fun. Let's go. Now, if you haven't been to the store recently, we do have a ton of gear. The last couple of years, it's been slim pickings with COVID. Things are breaking loose, getting a little bit better, and we've got a larger selection of guitar pedals than normal. Now, I already pulled the pedals off of the list, or off of the list, off of the displays that we're gonna be using. These are gonna be overdrive distortion pedals. Wanna give you some information on those and then demo them all so you can kind of hear a little bit of the differences between them. And yeah, so let's get started real quick. I'm gonna go through each pedal one at a time. I'm gonna show you the pedal and then demo them out for you. There will be links in the bottom, so if there's a specific pedal that you wanna check out, you can check that out just by clicking the timestamp down below. The amp we'll be using is the Boss Katana Artist Mark II. I'm gonna have that set up in a clean setting, straight across the board, uh, everything at five tone-wise. Just adding a little bit of reverb like you normally would, and so just gonna get dialed in I'm gonna start playing some guitar. One of my favorite things to do at work. One other thing that I will add is uh, we're recording direct out. Instead of throwing a microphone in front of it, we're gonna go record direct out because the store can get kind of noisy when we open up. Um, so direct out, right into a Fluid Audio SRI2. Great little interface. These guys are an awesome, uh, awesome little recording unit. Uh, right into the computer so that uh, you can get the clean audio slightly distorted or overdriven depending on the pedal there's actually a fuzz there too i'm going to take each individual pedal i'm going to show you the pedal show you what each knob does on it and then we're going to demo each one out i do have two guitars one with humbuckers one with single coils so whether you're a strat guy or a les paul guy or a ibanez guy will hopefully give you a little bit of color of the sound that uh, that might help you kind of make a decision as to whether one of these pedals is going to work for you or not. Starting off, we're going to utilize the uh, MXR Boost Overdrive. This is from their Custom Audio Electronics. Uh, the Boost has a knob for a plus decibel clean boost. Uh, you have an output knob, a tone, and a gain knob. So let's see what that sounds like. <laughs>
this guy is the green monster, the Ibanez Tube Screamer Overdrive Pro, the TS-808. Uh, this looks like a vintage pedal, designed after the vintage pedal that it is. Uh, you have an overdrive knob, a tone knob, and a level. So let's see what that guy sounds like. <laughs> Next two pedals in the list are from New X, uh, not Nux. It's uh, commonly called Nux, but there is a little arrow there that separates the New and the X. Uh, this is their reissue series, so these are based off of uh, off of different amps and pedals back in the day. You do have a VG and a T knob, which is your volume, tone, and gain on this guy. So let's see what it sounds like. <laughs>
I did say we were sticking with new X for the next two pedals last time, so this is the Recto Distortion. If you can't tell what they're modeling off of this guy, um, it is a uh, <laughs> rectifier, maybe Mesa Boogie. I don't know. I don't know. Looks kind of like it. But you got a bass knob, treble knob, gain knob, and master. So it's going to give you some nice distortion here. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> first boss pedal the iconic orange ds1 this is a distortion pedal that if you haven't played through at some point in your life you should probably try one of these guys out um, they've been around forever uh, guys like kurt cobain have been said to have used one in the lore of the pedal world um, they have a tone level and a distortion knob on them pretty iconic definitely try one of these out whether you like it or not it's something that everybody should play through play through at some point in their life.
Plaza Craft versions from Boss are their Japanese made, higher end, more boutique lined up pedals. Um, this is the heavy metal, the HM2W. Uh, these guys have a level, a low, a high, those are color mix knobs and a distortion on it. Um, Wazacraft pedals have always been built really well. I've loved the few that I've played over the years. Um, so this is definitely something I'm looking forward to trying. It also has a S and a C mode switch on the back. So uh, we're gonna experiment a little bit with those, but uh, let's see how you like the sound of this guy. Keeping it in the Boss family, this is the third 
boss pedal from this video. The Super Overdrive, much like the DS1, the SD1 is just their standard, want to call it entry level, but it's, I mean, entry level in the pedal world is not boss. Boss, they are built super well, uh, metal chassis. Uh, on these guys, you have a level tone in a drive. So you'll notice the difference between an, a distortion in the DS1 and an overdrive in the SD1. So let's hear it. last three pedals we're going to be in a mini format so a little bit smaller if you're looking to save space on your pedal board uh, these next three pedals might do the job for you if you are into the timmy overdrive which is this guy from mxr you have a bass gain there is a clip switch on there uh, as well as volume and treble knobs so let's hear it <laughs> 
Second from our mini pedals is the 850 Fuzz. It's the only Fuzz pedal in this demo. Um, I, I just really wanted to play it. Uh, it's, that's the only reason it's here. It's not an overdrive or distortion, but Fuzz is a really cool effect. This is in a mini format, has a tone, your output uh, sustain as well as level. Uh, and so just, to, just so that we'd have a Fuzz color in here, um, I just wanted to play this guy today and that's why we're going to listen to it.
Phone's ringing. Phone's ringing, dude. All right, Travis got it. <laughs> Last and certainly not least, the rat distortion pedals are really uh, something that is well known, just usually a lot bigger. This is just kind of a little cute little guy. Um, and it's a Lil Rat. They had put Lil in front of it so that you know that it's not as big as the regular one. Um, <laughs> but it has distortion, a filter knob, as well as volume on it. Uh, so here goes the little, the little. I almost called it little. That's not its name. It's the Lil. The Lil Rat. Here we go.
Hey guys, just to conclude the video after listening to all that, just the overview of what the tone comes out, out like with these pedals, just wanna say tone is extremely subjective. So you might absolutely hate some of these, the sound of these pedals when you plug into them with your own guitar, with your own guitar rig. You might love some things, but tone is an individualized decision. So what one person likes, what one person wants to create with is completely up to them. And that's one of my favorite aspects of music is the creative element to it. It's finding your own sound, finding what you want to sound like, what you want your sound to be like. Not that you have to copy anybody else or just because everybody likes a certain thing doesn't mean you're wrong if you like something else. So when you're playing music, if you love it, if it sounds good to you, put yourself out there, have fun making music. If you like this video, this is a long format video. It took me about a week to do all by myself. Um, but I will try to continue to, to put different content out there on our YouTube channel like this video. Uh, if, you'd, if you like it, if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button below. Appreciate that and uh, we'll see you in the shop sometime. Have a great one.